Australia and Indonesia have struck a deal to improve the country's response to asylum seeker rescues. The Defence Minister Stephen Smith is in Jakarta for talks with the Indonesian government and he spoke to Indonesia correspondent George Roberts. Before we get into the details of the plan, isn't even the existence of increased cooperation on rescues an admission that the current policy hasn't stopped boats leaving and hasn't stopped people drowning? Well, I don't think anyone in the government is denying that uh, we needed to do more to stop uh, people taking high-risk journeys over the seas and put themselves at risk and put themselves in search and rescue situations. That's why we've uh, embarked upon offshore processing both at uh, Nauru and at Papua New Guinea. Isn't it the case that this policy and the threat of going to Nauru or Manus Island hasn't stopped people taking Well, that I've always been of the view that there will be what uh, the experts describe here as a demonstration effect that once uh, Nauru is up and running, once Manus is up and running, and uh, people smugglers uh, and their unfortunate clients see the outcomes, that that will stem or stop the flow. Asylum seekers have told us here in Indonesia they don't have another option. They face 10-month waiting lists to get an interview with the UNHCR, another year perhaps before they get refugee status. When do you expect the new policy will start working for those people? Well, for those people who are here in Indonesia, we say don't risk your life on uh, a small boat on the high seas. Don't put yourself in that position. Uh, we're making changes to our onshore humanitarian and refugee programs that will open up uh, additional places, which will see our program go to 20,000. And we've already indicated an additional uh, 400 uh, immediately. So uh, we've also made it clear that there'll be no advantage from getting on a boat and embarking upon a dangerous journey. Uh, Indonesia's search and rescue organisation, Basanis, has said it just simply doesn't have the capability. Last week its helicopters couldn't reach the search zone. Its boats were too big, or too small rather, to go out into big waves. And they say they just can't do ocean rescues. So these six points don't help Indonesia affect a better rescue if they don't have the right equipment. Indonesia is thousands of islands on an archipelago. Uh, it takes you five and a half hours to fly from the north to the south. So they have enormous challenges, enormous challenges. And an additional ship here or an additional plane there won't necessarily help. What will help is growing their capacity, growing their capability, fixing their systems, and providing them with the best possible chance of ins instantaneous communication and instantaneous access. Uh, but uh, you're not going to solve Indonesian search and rescue problems uh, overnight because of the vast maritime space that they have to deal with.